So folks, a lot of you are probably wondering why me and Tim Lesser, the VP of Product Development at Leupold, are standing here with a triangle rope. And my first two years of college were, was engineering. And so I know a little bit about physics, enough to be dangerous, but <laughs> we're, Tim and I are gonna talk about range finders, but this is the best illustration we can think of about how the TBR rangefinder technology that Leupold has, how it works. So we're gonna assume the hunter is up here. He climbed up the mountain. The elk is over here. And this is very similar to the episode that you just watched with Bruce Pettit from Leupold. We were in a canyon in New Mexico and Bruce had to shoot down. And from the camera angle, it doesn't look like it's down that much, but it was a pretty steep angle. So you engineers who are watching, are gonna say, well, Randy, that's really simple. Gravity only works on the horizontal distance from where we shoot to where the target is. But a lot of times, range finders and other stuff will say, well, here's the line of sight distance. And trigonometry, geometry, if we took it in high school or college, you know that the hypotenuse of a triangle is always the longest distance. So this is longer than what this is. And what did your dad or grandpa always say when you're shooting at a steep uphill or downhill angle, always hold low. Reason being is if you held for this angle, you'd, you'd hold for too high and you'd shoot over the top of it. So that's, that's kind of how you guys have built these, Tim, to, to, to account for this angle. To compensate for it, yeah, because the way that, that the laser works is, uh, you know, it's sending light out it's little beams of little pulses of light right. and it's timing how long it takes for them to come back now what we're doing with tbr adds one little one little so extra level in there TBR total it's a tr true, tr true ballistic, ballistic range. range yeah and so what we're trying to do is combine that horizontal distance with the ballistics of your cartridge and so even though gravity is only affecting it over the the shorter leg um, the bullet is still traveling in the longer arc. leg, and it's right. actually a little longer than that because it's, a, it's an arc. So if it says shoot for 404 yards, it is compensated for the angle, your ballistics, the time of flight, all of that to make sure that bullet's arriving as if it were a, a 400 yard, a 404 yard shot over flat, flat terrain. So when I take my 1200 and I select all my modes here with the mode button, yep. you guys send this nice little chart mm -hmm. here. That says, all right, Randy, you are shooting heavy bullets, uh, 338 wind with heavy bullets. That would be group AC. You know, we know that a 338 doesn't shoot the same as a 223. Right. Um, and so that's, that's essentially what it's doing, is mixing those two things to make sure that it's just like you're sitting at a flat bench at a flat range. Yeah. So that's, if you're wondering how was it that I could click that quick and tell Bruce that's 404 yards, at that steep of an angle, this is what I had in my hand. I, this was the rangefinder. It's the RX 1200i TBR, and uh, it is, as my grandfather would say, slicker than deer guts on a doorknob. Uh, and, and one other thing, so I know there's not much variability in a lot of this stuff, but sometimes there can be. When you're out at the range, if you're zeroing in for long distances use this to determine the distance so if this says 380 but your sign out there at the range says 410 use this this is what you're going to be using in the field calibrate your dials your your turret whatever calibrate it to what your rangefinder says not to what the sign out at the range says otherwise you could have, especially as you get out there longer distances yeah. and the trajectories are, are getting steeper because just yeah. lower speed of the bullet. Yep. Um, oh, one other thing, archery. Archery, yeah. These have many modes. You they do, yeah. So, so we're typically using it in the rifle mode. Right. Um, but for archery, you've got the same, the same thing. Right. Um, and so there's a couple of, well, there's three groups that you can pick through depending on your, your bow speed, yep. essentially. Um, and where uh, you know a 40-yard shot may not seem 
like, like the angle's gonna matter a whole lot. People that are shooting distance with bows know, and they, you've got cut charts and other things. So you range it, it says it's 38 yards. You look at your cut chart and go, okay, I need to hold for 32. Right. The range finder does all that for you. Solid Again, play. converts it into a flat shoot to distance so that you can range and then just focus on making that shot. And I would say in archery, a lot of times the shot angles are steeper than they are in rifle. Absolutely can be. And yeah. because when you get out past 30 yards, that arrow is slowing yeah. significantly and gravity is taking a greater impact to it. It is, you're in the steep part of the drop, right? And uh, every extra yard makes a big difference uh, as you start going out there beyond 40 or so. Yeah, yep. so the TBRs can be set for rifle mode or archery mode and multiple modes within each of those categories. So thanks, Tim, You're appreciate welcome. it. Thank you.